So I started off doing swimwear and then I went over into resort wear. So I guess that is where um, the whole Monday wear thing started from. I always wanted to be part of carnival but I wasn't into the revelry part. I didn't want to be a masquerader but I wanted to be in the background because to me that is where the most fun was. I didn't really think about designing for a band per se. So that is why I decided, you know, how can I be a part of Carnival because I wanted to be in the background and still have my work out there. And that is when I decided to um, do Monday Wear. So I started doing Monday Wear in 2003. I would say I am one of the new way persons to go outside of, of Monday Wear being a short and a vest and you know turning it into something different and introducing fashion into to monday wear yes it's difficult to you know infuse all the different cultures into fashion but i try as best as i can to do that and i would say my monday wear is unique because of that i try to infuse the different aspects of of trinidad and tobago and um fashion we did odessi as the that is the title of the collection and in it you would find a piece for example the name of that piece is Fio. um that was a collection i did for my grandmother when she passed in 2010. my role in carnival is to include fashion as well as to to, uh, to add a little more diversity in terms of sizing and styling for monday wear clients range from a size zero to a size 40 and they all want to play mass because as i said it's our fashion show it's our time to free up i have clients who would say this is their only time out of the house they would be in at work or at home doing whatever to save to be in carnival so it's their, that their time to free up and i want everybody to experience that if i do a design that let's say people will think it's a bit skimpy and somebody who is size 21 that exact design i would do whatever modifications or make whatever modification to make you feel comfortable on the topic of diversity <laughs> we include all the, the sizes we also include males in our um, costume and design we don't put out male designs because it's not as popular as the females but i have i have clients who come every year with their husband and they want to play with their husband sometimes they want matching monday wear for their husband this year we're offering delivery so because most of our clients come in from the u.s and different parts of the world sometimes they have their events to go to so they're unable to make the collection time we're also offering an in-house rest up on carnival monday we are using our boutique space on 13 have a luck street st clair so our monday wear masqueraders could come in have a drink lounge rest eat whatever they want to do and a little relaxed time monday wear is here to stay for a while whether it be from an external designer or for, from an in-house band designer i think it's it's here for a while people want to be different as i said the whole thing is about being different and sometimes you feel one way on monday sometimes you feel a different way on tuesday okay, we dance for 